again from Zeno. think of someone that's really broken barriers and keeps making strides every day and that says a hell of a lot for someone's personality when they've been in, in the same job for 10 years and they continue to improve. The possession in hand, Jordan. To move away from home at quite a, quite, a, quite a young age and to also just kind of when, when things were up in the air to, to have made that decision and you look at you look at how the women's game has has grown. When Zane came came into the fold, it, it it really wasn't like that. She was someone that really had to push hard and make the sacrifices to get to where it is now. My dad was very supportive um, when I started playing, but my mom. Um, was a little bit scared of injuries and stuff. I started at a very younger age uh, playing with the boys um, in the street. From watching the games on TV, like I would see a certain skill or someone would do something on TV, then um, I would always want to go and try it out. My mom like uh, didn't really accept the fact that I, I I wanted to play rugby, so like I would go into my room, um, make as if I'll go and study a bit, but then I'll sneak out of the window just to go and train um, and develop some skills and stuff. Um, but yeah, as I went along and started uh, getting into the game a bit more, um, then she started to be supportive. But now she's one of my biggest fans. <laughs> But Zine, it's not like a friendship anymore, it's more like a family. We've been playing for nine years now, so we get to know each other, like our families, everything. So she's my go-to person and I'm our go-to person. She started building this brand of rugby for women and being a captain of the team, being a leader, showing girls that it can be done going through challenges, injuries, and still being here, and being the positive person that she is, and actually wanting women rugby to grow. When you're together as a group, you adopt them as, as your family, and they are the people that you spend your, like most of your time with. Um, so they become family and they become important to you as well. Um, so it's important to also have that bond and not feel that you're actually alone. And it makes it, that's what I'm saying, it makes it so much easier to be away from home simply because you've got your teammates here that um, support you. We have a, a very interesting balance in our, in our team, a proper melee of many, many cultures, many backgrounds, and that's the, that's the beauty of South Africa. Our diversity is our strength. If you look at our team, we have, we have English-speaking people, Afrikaans, Sutu, Venda, Zulu, Kosa. Um, it's, it's, it's absolutely incredible, and we, we have to, every day, find a way to respect one another's cultures, to, to actually be interested and to grow you know, with one another. Samoy was there. Oh, excellent work. You look at the ladies, um, you know, often the guys, because we have such a rugby culture here in terms of men's rugby. Um, you know, what the what the guys are afforded in in, 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 in certain ways that the ladies have never had that. And in saying that, they, they work just as hard. They graft behind the scenes. They're always fighting for every inch that they get. And it, w it would be very easy to give up. Um, and Zane hasn't. And the ladies that are part of our system haven't. They, keep on pushing, keep on growing, keep on trying to grow the game. It's now been 10 years of this and she continues to fight the fight. She continues to prove, improve every day as a person, as a rugby player. Um, and that's just, that's just massive for me. My biggest 
motivation at the moment. It's basically just to help my team qualify um, to play on the World Series. I really don't care what comes after that. It doesn't matter where you come from, what your background is like. Um, I think if you've got the heart to do something, um, then you're already in the right place.